five, four, three, two, one. Engines full power. Lift off, Starlink 48. Vehicle switching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Power telemetry nominal. Carrying our stack of 46 Starlink satellites to low Earth orbit. Now, moments ago, we throttled down the engines, reducing the speed by decreasing the flow of fuel to the engine. That's in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic Vehicle pressure. Vehicle supersonic. And we are coming up on max Q in a few seconds here. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've passed through Max Q. Now we do have four events coming up in quick succession. The first will be main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation, second engine start one or SES one, and then fairing deploy. So main engine cutoff is where all nine of the M1D engines shut down to slow the vehicle uh, down in preparation for the next event, which is stage separation. And that is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Right after stage separation, the first stage will, make, will start making its way back to Earth for landing. And while we are able to land the first stage, back, while we are able to land the first stage, both on land and at sea on our drone ship, today we will attempt to recover the first stage uh, on today's mission on our drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas. And while this is happening, stage two will continue on its journey with the third event, which is SES-1, or second stage engine start one. That's where the MVEC engine lights up and propels the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. And just a few seconds after that, we'll have fairing deploy. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And great views on your screen. We just saw Miko stage.